Easy. But Stephanie got in the way. She was in James' chair at the wrong time. And when I realized my mistake, I had to improvise. The power outage provided a perfect cover. I grabbed the knife off the dinner table and stabbed him. But as Joe pointed out, there were fingerprints. I couldn't just leave it there. So when Tom and I got separated in the gallery, I went back into the dining room and got the knife. But at that moment, Priscilla regained consciousness after fainting. She started to become hysterical. I knew I couldn't risk her revealing that I'd engineered this whole gathering. So I killed her, and I hid her in Tom's room. I tried to plant the knife in Tom's suitcase, but at that moment, Muriel walked in and caught me in the act. It wasn't her fault, poor thing, but she had to die. I stabbed her, and she screamed. I had to leave the knife in her because I couldn't very well hide it on my person with everyone quickly closing in. So I wiped off the fingerprints and ran. I slipped in with the rest of the group when they all converged on the scene. I needed more time to finish my work framing Tom, but that's when Derek went out to the balcony. I couldn't let him contact the police before everything was in place, so I had to kill him too. When Peter was yelling at everyone about that picture of Derek holding up the Hollywood sign, I grabbed the Golden Globe and slipped out. I followed Derek outside and did what I had to do. I barely had enough time to plant the Golden Globe in Tom's room and run back downstairs, where I took advantage of the commotion and joined the crowd as they were all running outside. And the rest, well, you did all the rest for me. You turned on Tom exactly as I planned. So there it is, Lois. My God. But wait, there's one thing unaccounted for. What happened to Stephanie's body? Actually, that's the one thing I don't know. Damn it! Well, now you know everything, Lois. Which, of course, means I have to kill you. Oh, is you coming? I can't play my tapes without the key. Well, actually, Lois and I were just about to go for a quick walk, weren't we, Lois? We've been getting better acquainted. All right, well, just give me the key, please. All right, Peter, I'll get it. Don't put a gun in my back. I'm not. I'm just asking for the key. Give me the key. Peter, we've been married 20 years. Please recognize when I'm acting out of the ordinary because I'm in danger. Here you go. Here's the key, Pete. Why is she calling me Pete? We've been married 14 years. She never called me Pete. Why am I trying to figure this out when I could be listening to my tapes in the car? Bye! Shall we? It's a shame that you have to die, Lois, but look on the bright side. You'll be a story on the 6 o'clock news. You know, unless a local cat does something funny. Diane, please. Please don't do this. I won't tell anybody. I swear to God. That's right. You won't. Goodbye, Lois. If anybody's gonna take that bitch down, it's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> 